on, you've got a pizza oven, a wood burning pizza oven. That's right. Yeah. I've only seen this in one other house, but he owned the entire California pizza kitchen chain. He had a pizza oven. Hi, I'm Gary Gold, Executive Vice President of Hilton and Highland. I actually have the listing of this property. And this is Noah Walker, who designed and built it. And there's one question I have for you that a lot of people ask. This is actually the second home you've ever designed and built. Correct. This is the kind of home that people build, architects build, after 30 years. How did you pull this off? This is not like your second home you ever built. That's like not even possible. Well, it is, Gary. <laughs> um, I think that... Well, typically architects work for a long time. I spent a long time working for other uh, notable firms, both here in Los Angeles and in New York. So uh, usually when an architect emerges on the scene, it's actually the product of a, a lot of years of, of hard work and apprenticeship before mm -hmm. they get an opportunity to do anything on their it's own. Not, so. you know, it's not surprising that you have a great kitchen in this house, but there's a couple unusual features. Uh, number one, you've got a pizza oven, a wood burning pizza oven. That's right. Yeah. I've only seen this in one other house, but he owned the entire California pizza kitchen chain. He had a pizza oven. Uh, and then you've got a real special feature in this house I've never seen in a house behind us. Yep, this window here, because we have this amazing view out to the west of the kitchen and also because we're in Southern California, we decided to basically make the window open up and be, basically turn this indoor kitchen into an outdoor cooking experience. And um, so we, with the push of a button, the window opens up and basically the entire one, one of the, the walls of the kitchen opens up completely and allows the breeze to come in and the fresh air to come in and you can hear birds singing. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So you wore a couple hats in here. Not only did you design this as the architect, you already also built it. Uh, tell me about the uh, trials and tribulations yeah, of that. Yeah, that's right. I, a couple years ago, when I did my first project, I, I also built it. It was a smaller project. It was a remodel. But uh, I, I felt like it's important for architects to, again, take responsibility for the way things are built in their projects. And so I got my general contractor's license a few years ago and, and, and really sort of took charge of, of the building process as well on this project. And so I think interesting things happen when the architect is the builder on site. I think the architect is able to pay a little bit of extra care and attention to the way details are made, um, put a little bit more thought into things. You, you actually, your company's called Walker Workshop, so Correct. it's obviously a, a big part of... Yeah, the workshop is very intentional. It's about, right. it's about uh, creating not just, not just uh, designs on paper or on the iPad for, for people to look right. at, but also actually physically creating and bringing these projects into the world. I can say I know every square inch of this house. I've walked it several times and it shows there's no place here where it looks like a great house, but I don't get why they did this. This house fits together so perfectly and there's so many things that just are simple and genius. So this is one of the more unique surprises in this property. Um, I know it's a musical room, but it seems like it could serve a lot of functions. That's right. It's a, uh, it's a living room right now. It's not as a living room, but it's also a space that it holds concerts for up to 70 or 80 people sometimes. So right. the, the client is an amateur violinist right. who has uh, charity events and he likes to host. Right. And so it was, you know, if, if he asked us to do one thing on his property when he bought it, it was to provide him a space where he was able to have these concerts. It's very it. much part of the lineage. You know, Oak Pass was originally the bridle path for the Beverly Hills Hotel. People would go ride horses oh, up wow. there. I didn't know so that. I wonder before Bert if this actually was a barn for like horses. It may have been actually, yeah. yeah. Well, if someone wants to reach you, how do they do that? Oh, they can uh, mm. go on my website and um, they can email me at info at walkerworkshop.com. Right. And, and I have um, examples of other projects that I've done on that website. And they can check out our blog and look at uh, pro uh, progress of current work as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. All right, it was good talking to you. Yeah, good talking to you too.